So last week, what was the purpose of our writing? We went through everything from tech, brainstorm, T-chart, all that good stuff, and what was the whole purpose, Shane? Can you answer my question first? Right, that was our topic, solar panels. What was our pur our purpose though? Remember, author's purpose is either P, I, or E, right? What's P? Uh, persuade. 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 And what else can we call persuade? Oh, opinion. I is for inform, and we can also call that expository. Or the E is for entertainment, where we write a narrative, which is a synonym for story. So last week we were talking about solar panels, now you and what was the purpose? To inform the reader. To inform the reader. So we have to figure out, this week, we have the same exact source. You have a brand new source in front of you. There's no annotations on it. It's the same source. But now we're looking for a different purpose. So we got to read our what in order to figure out our purpose. Got it? We do have to read our source to figure out where the information is, but how do we know what we're looking for in our source? Carlos? Of the paragraphs. The paragraphs in the source, yes. But we're missing a very important part. Charlie? We have to read our prompt. We have to read our prompt to find out what our purpose is, right? Shane, do you have a question? Uh, we need, yeah, we need to get, uh, okay, paper people, did you miss table two? Okay. Everybody should have a blank source, and you should have a blank tent. So Charlie says that we should read our prompt. That's okay. Angela can get one for you from the extras bucket. Thank you. What's prompt a synonym for? Direction. 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 Write directions on top. Before we start, let's make sure that we actually remember all the steps. Palm out, finger up. Sergio looks ready, Angel looks ready, Heidi looks ready. All right, first we scan, 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 scan using the tag method. T is for topic, A is for audience, K is for keywords. Then we brainstorm. Nice and loud. After that, we stop and think. Think about three things to pick and choose. Nice. Okay, so we know our three purposes. We got to figure out which one it is, and Charlie thinks that that's going to be found in the prompt, in the directions. Let me see if you agree with him. Do you? Yep. Looks like most of you agree. Okay, so let's read our directions. Read it with me. Your class has been learning about solar panels. Based on the information you know, state your opinion on the following question. Do you think humans have received more benefits from solar energy in the past or today? Take a second. Skim, skim the prompt again. What do you think we should pull out as our topic? Hands on your head when you think you know. Profile, following directions. Hands on your head when you think you know the topic. Whisper, scream it on three. One, two, three. Solar panels. Perfect. So I'm going to box solar panels right here. And I'm going to write it under T for topic. Solar panels. Very nice. T is for topic. A is for audience. audience. Finger on your nose. Not in your nose. On your nose if you think you know who the audience is. Think, think, think. Hint, hint, I tried to trick you. Don't fall for the trick. On the count of three, I want you to stand like a baby. One, two, <laughs> Let's try that again. One, two, three. Who's your audience? Oh, see, I tricked 
a couple of you. I tricked a couple of you. Raise your hand if you think you know who the audience is. Angeline, who's the audience? Um, you. Me? How do you know it's it's the teacher? Please stop clicking that. Exactly, because it doesn't say, right? So if it's not stated, who is it? Teacher. Teacher, if I can't find anywhere in my prompt who the actual audience is, not stated equals? Teacher. Write it. T is for topic, A is A for audience. audience, and our audience is the teacher. T is for topic, A is for audience, K is for keywords. So, you tell me, what are your keywords? Mari, give me one. Information? Are you sure? This was part of the trip. Can we write information? Yeah. No. 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 Thumb up for yes, thumb down for no. Information seems like such an important key word. Isn't informative one of our purposes? No. P-I-E, yeah. Informative could be one of our purposes. But this says based on the information you know, those of you that have your thumb down, Robert, why are you saying information is not important right now? Because I feel like that could be our purpose. Because it also has opinions. It also has opinion. Hmm. Read that entire sentence with me. Based on the information you know, state your opinion on the following question. Some up for information, some down for opinion. What kind of purpose do you think we're writing for right now? Okay. Thumbs don't talk. Almost everybody thinks, no, everybody. Good, that means I didn't trick anybody. Everybody thinks that it's opinion. Based on information, isn't that what you need to base your opinion on anyway? Yeah. 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 But now that lets me know I'm not just telling somebody information about solar panels, Landon. Now I'm telling somebody about what I think about solar panels. So how many of you think opinion is the actual purpose? Fantastic. Opinion. Absolutely. That's a very important key word because it tells us what our writing is. Okay. What our type of writing is. What else, CJ? Keywords. We, we, um, we are writing um, about Solar panels. Absolutely. Solar panels. Yep. Sorry, that A looks like a scribble. Solar panels. Yes, Nada. Um, past or today? Past or today. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Why were you thinking that? from in the in the prompt so is that what our opinion should be on yeah yeah that's the whole point of our opinion are we talking about whether solar panels are good or bad no, no. what if you write a fantastic multi-paragraph essay on why you think solar panels are better than wind turbines can I give you uh, an advanced nope no because it's off topic you're not writing what's on the prompt. This is not asking for your opinion on solar panels. This is asking Carlos for your opinion on whether solar panels gave more benefits in the past or today. Does it say how much you have to write? No. No. So if it doesn't tell us how much to write, as long as we have enough information to support our opinion, then we should be good. Any other keywords? Okay. Benefits? Yeah, I was thinking benefits too. Let's take benefits in there. Benefits, opinion, solar panels, past or today. Sounds about right. What do you think? Brainstorm. Hmm. I'm going to give you three minutes. Mm. 
That's two of them. Two minutes. You have two minutes. Write any ideas that you have on brainstorm. Be sure to focus them on what our keywords were. Mm -hmm. Again, Right now. There's no wrong answers in brainstorming. 